Ah, welcome time travelers and welcome new time travelers. As always, if you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about history one event at a time, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. On this day in 1814, during the Napoleonic Wars, Napoleon was facing an invasion of France by forces bent on his overthrow and pressed by his own officers, abdicated unconditionally at Fountain Blue. The following year, in 1815, the eruption of Mount Tambora, a volcano on the island of Zimbabwe, on what is now um, Indonesia, killed about 10,000 people. Uh, 1848 is when Emperor Fernand I of Austria confirmed the March Laws, which formed the foundation of the modern state of Hungary. And speaking of other countries and their rulers, I do plan on uh, making a, a um, like a separate vlog if you will, for not only the U.S. leaders, but like leaders of other countries. And I'm going to do a video per like president or per country up until like the current year. So let's continue on to 1893 when Dean Arkinson U.S. Secretary of the State from 1949 to 1953, advisor to four presidents, and the principal creator of U.S. foreign policies in the Cold War period following World War II, was born. Um, 1895 is when Cuban uh, patriot Jose uh, Julian Martini landed in Cuba at the head of invading forces whose goal was to win independence from Spain. Uh, 1951 is when U.S. President Harry S. Truman relieved General Douglas MacArthur of his command of United Nations and U.S. forces during the Korean War. Uh, two years later, in 1953, mathematician Andrew John Wales, divisor of the proof of Fermat's last theorism, was born in Cambridge, Campshire, England. And that's, I don't know how, why they have like two cities or a city and a county. I'm not sure what's going on on in England. I don't know if it's like city, state, and then country. Like, um, to give you an example, like it would be a Leesport, Pennsylvania, United States. I don't know if that's what that is. If somebody has any idea, let me know. Um, 1961, the trial of Nazi leader Adolf Eichmann began in Jerusalem. Eight months later, it ended with the only death sentence ever imposed by an Israeli court. Uh, in 1967, British Chancellor of Ecuador, James Cohen, uh, presented to the House of Commons the budget for the fiscal year of 1967 to 1968, providing for the government um, exposures or 
expeditures of 11 million 67 um an income of 11 million 704,000 uh, nine years later, in 1970, Apollo 13 was launched from Cape Kennedy, which is now at Cape Canaveral, Florida. Although scheduled to be the third lunar landing, the mission was aborted after an oxygen tank exploded en route to the moon. Um, on this day in 1979, Uganda, Ugandan President um, Indy Amen, whose brutality earned him the nickname Butcher, Butcher of Uganda, fled the country as Tanzanian lead forces neared Kampala. Moving on to 2006, which brought us President Mohammed um, Ahmadinejad announces uh, in a televised celebration that Iran has succeeded in enriching, enriching Ukraine, or I'm sorry, uranium to make it useful as nuclear fuel. The following year in 2007 is when American author Kurt Von Gott, who was noted for such wirely um, Spectacle novels such as Slaughterhouse Five, that was published in 1969, passed away at the age of 84. And finally, in 2013, uh, Maria Tauchief, whose exquisite technique made her one of the greatest ballerinas in the United States, passed away at the age of 88. And with that, we return to 2024 and our current history. Until next time.